Today we're going to examine the shoulder. There are multiple protocols available for the shoulder, however I've found some simplified techniques and I think what's most important is to maintain a consistent protocol and repetitively go over it and over it until you're comfortable with what exam works for you. In looking at the shoulder, I recommend that the patient's in the seated position. I prefer to stand behind the patient so that I can look at the screen which is in front of me at approximately a two o'clock uh, window for me so that the patient and myself can both look at the screen and interact and educate the patient while I'm doing the scan. In examining the shoulder there are some important principles to follow. First of all, when holding the transducer it's easiest to have the notch of the transducer always facing upwards or cephalad on the patient. That will always be your lighthouse, so to speak, of exactly where you are. So I always keep the notch upward as well as looking at the upper left hand corner of the screen to making sure I know exactly where I am. I'm going to be using a linear transducer and this is a high frequency probe which allows us the optimal resolution in musculoskeletal imaging. With examination of the shoulder, I prefer the musculoskeletal setup. I press the exam button and I check to make sure that I'm on the musculoskeletal setting and press select. Next, it's important to know what depth you'd like to do for the exam. And here, for starters, I'm going to begin at 3.3, which is noted on the screen. I can move up or down. And the closer to the surface of the skin, the better clarity and resolution I'll have.